Hi, my name is Kelvin and today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw on Android. Stay tuned. <music> So the first thing I do when I start painting is actually to begin with a sketch. It doesn't matter if you are painting on desktop or you are painting on Android or you are painting on an iPad. It's always a good practice to begin your work with a sketch which gives you an idea of what you want to paint. Starting with a sketch is a, is a good practice. It helps guide you to knowing precisely what to do. A sketch is like a compass, it guides you along the way of your design or your drawing. Number, step number one is, is sketching. Step number two is actually laying down your flat colors so once you are done with the sketch the next thing you want to do is to begin to actually apply colors to your drawing most times your drawing will comprise of various parts like the skin the hair the eyes the clothes depends on the concept you have in mind is always a very healthy practice to lay down flat colors for each of these parts as it helps you see what your drawing will eventually look like. It's like it's giving you a glimpse of the design you are going for. So when you <clears throat> so when you lay your flats you are able to have a feel of your drawing, your design. So after making your sketch, it's good to lay down flat colors. At this point, you don't bother yourself with, you know, trying to blend or make it look good. Just lay down colors you want, throw in every color you want on each part of your drawing. Choose the color for the hair, choose the color for the skin, choose the color for the eyes, just lay down flat colors, plain flat colors for each part of your drawing. Try as much as you can to keep every color for every part on a separate layer. That way you have full control over your drawing and you can decide to change the color of any part at any point in time without compromising your artwork. It's like a non-destructive workflow. It gives you power and control over your drawing at all times. Step three of the drawing process is what I call, step three of the drawing process is shading. This is where you begin to shade your drawing, begin to give some form to your drawing. At this point, you begin to bring your drawing to life by adding darker shades and lighter shades to indicate light and shadow this point this step is a little bit technical but probably i'll do a full video on shading sometime but all you have to do is just indicate where your light source is coming from indicate the places that are supposed to be out of the light in the dark as shadows you try to choose colors that help you indicate light and shadow and try to keep your shading on a separate layer so if it's too intense you can reduce the opacity and also play with other settings in this process i also at this point i also like to throw in 
colors to my painting i make sure i add as much colors you know i want to see my artwork if i want some blush i want some you know different hues i try to add them at this point i don't worry about blending i just add as much color as i want to see in my painting i try to see how i can fit these colors in now most if the if the if the shading process goes very well you begin to see some life to your drawing you begin to see some forms to your drawing you begin to see that your artwork your character begins to come to life because now it it begins to look true three dimensional you can see where the light is coming from you can also see the places that are not in the light the places that are not being hit by the light now when you indicate this on your canvas what it does is it gives your artwork that three dimensional look it makes it look alive it gives it that round feel so the shading is very important it actually requires some technicality like i said before and you really need to take your time it's not something you rush choose your colors and lay them down very well take your time to put them in from time to time you may need to adjust or change certain colors as the need arise but you just go with the flow just lay colors choose colors lay them observe you see how they feel on your character if you need to change them change them you know just make sure you throw in every color you want in your painting and try to get a feel of what they will look like that is what the shading that's what the shading stage is all about after the after the third stage the fourth stage is what is, is, is actually blending your character at this point you begin to blend in your colors and try to make them harmonize with each other the shading had to do with just laying down colors laying down shadows laying down light but in the blending stage you have to find a way to make each color flow with the other you have to find a way to create color harmony in your character so what you do this phase is just to start to blend you use a soft brush that's what i do i use a soft brush and i begin to blend each color into the other i try not to make them too flat as in to blend them totally into each other but i just make sure i harmonize them i make sure the, you don't have dividing lines between two colors laying next to each other. You try as much as you can to blend one color into the other to create a nice flow for your character. The blending stage actually require actually the blending stage actually requires patience, and you know from time to time you need to flip your canvas and try to see what the art your artwork looks like and then blend again flip your canvas try to see what it looks like blend again zoom out zoom in blend again you just keep going back and forth that's what it's about The fifth stage is your highlight. This is where you begin to make your character shine and pop. This is where you bring life to your character. It's about adding highlights or reflection, as it is called, to certain areas of your character, like the eyes, the pupil. You know, you add the light, the reflection, to your character you choose those places where the, the light will hit the most and then you make them shine this adds more life to your character so it doesn't really matter the device you're using whether you're drawing on 
Android or you're drawing on Windows or you're drawing on iPad, this is a workflow that could actually work. A lot of artists use this same workflow. A lot of professional artists, they do it this way. And I've tried, I've done it this way several, it, it does work. It gives you control over your, it gives you full control over your artwork at each stage. You could go in any time, make changes because you have each of this stage on a different layer. You have full control. It's a non-destructive workflow and it's very, very professional. So your highlights mostly should be done with very bright colors. Some artists like to do their highlight on a color dodge layer. Others, others like to create a, an overlay layer. But I think as long as it looks good, it doesn't really matter type of layer you use. Sometimes I do my highlight on a normal layer. As long as I get that glow, that feel, I think it's okay.